Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, we've got Diamond Dynasty Baseball tonight. It's the Chiefs taking on the Smokies. First pitch coming your way next. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, leading off, Trey Turner. Timeout asked for and given at the plate now. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Righty to the plate. Pitch in the dirt, 1 and 2 to count. Well, who would have thought Jacob deGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back to back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. Junior racing over to make the catch. At the play, Babe Ruth. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Yeah, Boog, just incredible. You look at that benchmark of 200 innings, comfortably over that in 2018 with 217, and the sub two ERA, just impressive at 1.70 to lead the league. Soriano on the run towards the line. One down, base is empty. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. That was a moonshot, and that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. One out, nobody on. And now here is Nick Swisher. Big time power. First offering misses badly for ball one. Moncada gets under it. Makes the catch. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath a little bit and popped it up. Griffin was an instant sensation when he burst onto the major league scene back in 1989. A sweet swinging 19 year old kid and he got to play alongside his dad. He was a special player. Two down nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And in his rookie year, it was already clear that Ken Griffey Jr. was a generational talent, a bona fide five tool player, and everyone. This one swung on and hit well, way back there. And brings it in at the wall. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's going to be Hannes Wagner. For the the wind of the pitch. Morgan makes the grab. One pitch and one out. And now Alfonso Soriano. This guy one of the best contact men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Righty delivers. In for a strike, and it's 0 and 2. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Got him looking. Now two out. Yeah, the batter now, oh, Babe right. Ruth. Good hey. contact guy, good defender. Ruth. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Oh. 
This to third. Machado throws the first in time. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Back at Yankee Stadium. New inning getting started. And now Aaron Judge. The center fielder. Aaron. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. For Judge, he's really developed into more than just a power hitter. He covers the plate well, shows impressive awareness of the strike zone to boot. That's critical. Very important. If you want to be one of the best to ever play, it can't be all about hitting home runs. You have to have plank discipline as well. And that one gets down fair ball. So a man on base to start the inning. Judge hung up in a rundown now. And he can't get back to first in time as the big turn costs him. And now it's going to be Joe Morgan. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Back-to-back -back base hits. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Gary Sanchez takes a ball here as he stands in now. The 1-0. In the dirt. And the runner holds. 2-0. He swings and fouls one off. Out number two. Here's Manny Machado now. The third baseman, number 13. Manny Machado. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Here's the pitcher, Corey Kluber. The pitcher, Corey Kluber. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. First and second, two down. The next pitch misses, and the count even one and one. And that's outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Wagner over to pick it up. Third out. Back in New York. Bottom half of inning number two. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Ken Griffey Jr. The wind of the pitch. Griffey. On the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Here's a big power threat. Frank Thomas. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Here is Yohan Moncada. That is good. The second baseman. First pitch, and he just misses. Left hand batter waits. And a swing and a miss. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here and a swing and a miss two away and Gary Sanchez at the plate Batting seven. The catcher. in today's Gary. game you look at exit velocity Batting as a measure of process and if guys are hitting the ball hard eventually the results usually follow 
Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. Next one is off the plate, and that's ball two. See the velocity, 97 with that fastball. Thomas off of first with two away. On the ground to third. Handled by Machado. Tosses to first. And the inning is over. Back in the Bronx. Trey Turner now. Miller back to work. Good eye right there. And the 1-0. Yeah, that's outside. 2-0 count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. That one ripped left field. Bang! Trey Turner goes deep, and they add to the lead. It's 1-0. And now, Babe Ruth. He's already homered here in this one. Dave. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Next offering is in for a strike. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that's the first out. So, like so digging in, Nick Swisher. Nick Swisher. First offering misses the mark. Saying four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow. And oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Bang! A towering shot to right, and they tack one on the board. It's 3-0. Here's a speed threat, Ken Griffey Jr. He's a guy who does it all. First pitch, not close. So I went into the game, I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a <laughs> great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. Next offering is downstairs. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Judge rips that one. That's a base hit. Junior to third. In there safely. Back-to-back -back singles, that pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Stepping in, Joe Morgan. Moncada under it. And makes the grab. Two away. Well, that's a frustrating at-bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy will have to pick him up. Sanchez takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Two outs. Two in scoring position. And a base hit on a line. One run across. Now two runs score. And the lead is up to five. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. That's a good sound. coming off the bat man and as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel that's a pure stroke Machado at the plate with two away swings through that one and he's down 0-2 as he swings through it so did Super Joe give you two suits Super Joe hooked me up swings and misses 
as we go to the last of the third. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. And a pitch. Third baseman. Manny. Up the middle. To first. One up, one down. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get Not through. Enough. It just pours in on the hands. Nolan Ryan swings through one there. The 0 1. Popped up, and that's a foul ball. And stepping in is the speedy Hannes Wagner. Swing and a ball hammered left field, way back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He circles the bases, and they cut into the lead. It's 5-1. Now the number two hitter, Alfonso Soriano. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Two outs. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Back here in New York, now to the plate, the pitcher, Corey Kluber. Leading off for the Chiefs, the pitcher. The wind Corey and the pitch. Kluber. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at old Yankee Stadium. And they get Turner for the out. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in the long ball threat, Babe Ruth. In there for strike one. In this situation, as the number two hitter, two out, nobody on, you want to be a table setter. Work the at bat, get deep, whatever it takes, get on first base. Ball to strike. And he chases a high fastball there. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Got him. And good work there. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's some real power at the plate. Babe Ruth. The right-hander back to work. Babe Ruth. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And one pitch into the inning, it's a leadoff double. So now it's the four hole hitter, Ken Griffey Jr. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. And first offering is fouled off. Runner leads away at second. That one ran inside, almost got him. With Jr., probably one of the sweetest swings we have ever seen, and certainly as signature a swing as any player has ever had. Ruth stands at second with no outs. Well struck right field. And it's gone! He powers one out to right field, and they close the gap. It's 5-1. And here's the first baseman, Frank Thomas. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The whole setup for Junior, the way he waggled the bat, the way he was able to just effortlessly move that swing through the zone. Just a pretty thing from start to finish. Kicks and fires. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Sanchez gathers, throws. You're best when you let the game come to you. Tried to make too much happen right there. Not his best at bat. 
Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And the righty deals. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Now these guys. Definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Runner at first with no outs here. Next offering is way upstairs. Stays alive. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Gary Sanchez now at the plate. Grounded out his first time. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And he deals. Just missed. Well, he gave up the home run earlier in this inning, not pitching as aggressively here. And he was nowhere near that one for strike one. At the belt and fires. Wouldn't chase that time. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And now a full count. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. And that's going to get into the corner. Tries to get back and save. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Maybe a little out front of the pitch right there, but he squared it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The 0-2. And he chases that one. Huge strike out there. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Nolan Ryan. The pitcher. No way. Puts a bunt down. Ryan. And it gets by him. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the end. Ready now for the fifth inning, and now the big-time power threat, Nick Swisher. And here it comes. Swings through that one for strike one. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Next pitch misses inside. One ball, one strike. Kicks and deals. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Against good pitchers, you've got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. Junior in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next pitch misses inside, and the count is one and one. Swisher on at first, nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. 
The next offering misses, and the count is filled up. Next pitch is popped up. And puts the squeeze on that. One down. Aaron Judge at the plate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now it's the power now speed back. combo. Second Joe season. Morgan. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. Soriano collects it. Whips it to first. And that is that. Your attention, please. Back at Yankee Stadium. Now at the plate, Hannes Wagner. The pitch. That's your Breaks shot. his bat, pops it up. Throw to first is in time. They get him, but it was pretty close. Alfonso Soriano digs in now. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And there's a foul ball. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Bounce to the left side. Slings it across. Two gone now. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Roof. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. Swing and a ball popped up. Turner makes the catch. And that'll do it. Back for more from the Bronx. All right, we go to the top half of Media. inning number Four six. The, the batter now, Gary Sanchez. Gary. Sanchez. Out to short, Wagner handles. Tosses to first, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The Manny Machado up to the plate. Manny. Down to ball here, rolls foul. Here's your one. Now wanted a one. There's a strike. The one, two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Your attention, please. Now coming into pinch hit, John Peterson. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. But why to kick the pitch? That misses the zone. And 1 and 1. Left hand hitter waits. So now one and two. It's been a solid inning so far in relief. Get them through this inning only down two. Could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. The pitch. And down on strikes. And that'll. Ladies and gentlemen. Back now in the Bronx. Here's the center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. And a pitch. Fought off foul. Next offering is in for a strike. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Popped up. Machado settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. 
And now the first baseman, three, Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious. Late swing, fouled off. A swing and a soft line. It puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Now here is Curtis Granderson. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning for Gary Sanchez. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for yeah, right there. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. And here comes the power hitting catcher, Gary Sanchez, in the dirt. But no advance. That's ball one. Off the of first with two away. Pickoff throw, and he's back in safely. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to. Run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off. It's over. The 1-0. That one fouled off. Next nope. one misses, and it's two and one. Here comes a pitch. There's the swing and a miss. Right-handed reliever. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Gathers and throws on the first ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. The 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long. the victorious visiting team five runs ten hits no errors they left four men on base